Good morning. Hello. It's Monday morning. I am trying yet again to get back into vlogging. I kind of vlogged some days last week and then when I was editing it I was so in my head and I was like what are people even getting from this video? Nothing. Why am I posting it? There's nothing blah 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 you know? And then I, I don't know I've just I get in these ruts every now and again where I like just I'm like I don't know I don't know I just get so in my head and I'm like what am I even doing this for and while yes it's great when people get something from my video and like I don't know if I just make them feel a certain way or something just you know I, I get some messages being like you're so real and a breath of fresh air and I really love it and I'm like oh thanks so much and I can't find my lip gloss thing it's not lip gloss it's lip balm whatever it is um there it is so well yes it's great you know when people get things from my videos but like at the end of the day I'm mainly doing this for me it's a hobby of mine I like creating memories having them to watch back on you know ah so we're trying again this week I really need to get back into doing my routines properly this week I was getting pretty good last week but then just over the weekend again I really slept especially on my night routine and I think if I don't do my night routine, I don't feel as good after doing my morning routine. Does that make sense? Because I think your morning routines start with your night routines, you know? So we're gonna give it a go again this week, get back into doing those routines and try to get out of my head when it comes to making these vlogs. So yeah, I think I, I've just been busy. I feel like I haven't had a moment to slow down the past couple of weeks which is kind of nice, but it's also, I, I'm just really tired. <laughs> um, so yeah, if we could also maybe, so I do have three days off from work this week, which I think is just needed. <laughs> it is miserable, it's raining, I'm off to work. Oh, I need to, I need to leave. <laughs> um, so let's hope this vlog makes it to YouTube. I actually finished up work a little bit earlier today than I expected, we were very quiet. Um, so it's five o'clock and I'm gonna go for a walk because I feel like I just need to get out into the fresh air. I feel like I haven't had enough like walks in the fresh air. Like I, we have outdoor dining like in my place I'm in the fresh air a lot but like I don't go walking a lot the past couple of weeks. So I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm giving a grind tonight um, but other than that I think after the grind I should just be able to chill and do nothing and then I'm off tomorrow so let's go walk. I'm gonna listen to a podcast because I have been slacking on listening to my podcasts. <laughs> Just, Sigrid came out with a new album, it took over me, so we're back on podcast now. Just finished giving my cousin a grind. Went well. I mean, I always worry that like, you know, maybe I'm not explaining things as well as I could be and like stuff like that. But he always says, you know, like that he understands be things better after our session and stuff, you know. So our session, that sounds very formal or something, doesn't it? Uh, but yeah, that was good. Hopefully beneficial to him. You know, that's, that's all that matters. Um, now it's just before eight. So it still feels kind of early. I think I'm going to go home and watch a movie. I really want to watch, I suppose is it more of a documentary, Our Father on Netflix, if you've heard of it. Sounds really messed up, but yeah, might go watch that when I go home and just chill, chill out for the evening. Like burped there, sorry, I'm gross. Yeah, just chill out for the evening. And then I'm off tomorrow and I, kind of have like a rough plan of what I'd like to get done. The weather is meant to be awful. Like, awful. Although, do you know what, you never know what it's gonna actually turn out like. I don't know. Um, I'll continue this vlog into tomorrow and we'll see what we get up to. See you then. So, my morning ended up being a bit stressful and I wasn't expecting it. I haven't vlogged anything <laughs> because I just needed to concentrate. So I said I would change my bed sheets and like who for my room. And I just, as part of the story, I'm getting bitten. Like what looked like mosquito bites, midge bites, whatever. Um, but I'm not, I never, 
ever get bitten but so far this year I have gotten so many bites and it happens in like the evening time or I wake up with them so I was like really paranoid that I have bed bugs <laughs> so when I was changing I had all my bed sheets off this morning I just lifted up my mattress just I was like let's just have a look what's underneath there doesn't need to be cleaned up something and there were friggin bugs crawling like on my mattress so I like shut it down straight away went down to my mom and I was like oh my god so she was like wait for your dad to come home <laughs> um, and then I just she was like what kind of ones are they like what do you think they are and I so I went back up put it up again and they flew like one of them said flying so I looked it up and bed bugs cannot fly so they're not bed bugs so then when I was I feel itchy everywhere now as well like ooh. I mean I also my hay fever is really bad at the moment so I'm just constantly feeling itchy in my face but now I just feel itchy all over my body even talking about it um so when they started to fly I was like okay they're either like some kind of ants or mosquitoes or something um and then when dad came home they were of course they're like they're gone now I don't know where they are but I caught a little bit of a video of them and he reckons they're moths so I literally like pulled out my bed and like hoovered so much of it um the amount of dust that came up from everywhere like was disgusting i need to start doing my room like hoovering my room room more than once a week i don't even do it once a week i aim to do it once a week but i actually think i need to do it a bit more because it just gets so dusty in this to all this too got a very exciting package that i went through with my dad so there was excitement to it in all this that you'll hear about soon but um I yeah it's just it was just a bit stressy I was just really trying to clean under my like hoover everywhere in my room I was like sweating and everything but now I'm gonna go and try find something that like gets rid of moths or something you know because I do notice them like in the bathroom a lot and in my room they actually I know now that I like I'm aware that there's probably moths in my room I actually see a lot of moths flying around my room which is kind of gross but you know this is real life so I'm gonna go find something to try and get rid of the moths I keep them away another thing I think I not I think I have dry scalp <laughs> um I was just trying to look this morning to see is it like dandruff or dry scalp and I think it's dry scalp from like the symptoms that I have or whatever that I was looking up so I need to go find that as well so listen this is just this is just a lot of what like real shit we're dealing with right now um I kind of I think I've always kind of dried dealt with the dry scalp a bit like in the past few years it's kind of gone away but I remember years ago like I used to have quite bad dry scalp um and I think it's just coming back a bit so I'm gonna try find something that can, I can help with that and I'm also gonna try to eat out by myself. So, big morning ahead of us, it's quarter past 10. I feel like I have loads done. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna head to Douglas Court and see from there. Let's go, we got this. So that was a fail. The place that I wanted to go to was quite busy. Like there's only like one free table. And I saw a regular from work there and I just, I just got really panicked. Like I did walk around like three times to see if it got any quieter, but it didn't. And I just, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. But I also didn't get anything for my scalp or for the moths. So I need to go somewhere else anyway. So I've come to Van Point and even if I can, there's no real place to get like breakfasty style foods here, which is kind of what I was looking for. But even if I can just get a coffee and a muffin, a pastry, a sausage roll, something, um i might just sit somewhere here because it's more it's just it's just about building the confidence like of just doing things alone in public um that's just that's just what i'm trying to build this is all a confidence exercise for me to become more like independent in myself because i always say i'm an independent person but when it comes to doing things in public i get quite anxious so we're gonna try here again and see what happens <laughs> So Mountain Point didn't really go to plan either. <laughs> it was really busy. He's gonna see me talking to my camera. You probably can't even see my camera, so I just look like I'm talking to myself. Damn. Just recording it. Anyway. 
It was really busy at that point. I'm gonna talk to my phone. Does that look less weird if I'm holding up my phone? Anyway, it was just really friggin' busy at that point. So like in the sit, like in the Starbucks and like coffee places and stuff, it was busy in there. Like all the tables, like what am I trying to say? There were tables free, but like not enough. Like it was just too busy inside there. So I just got too anxious. So then I went across to the retail park to Home Store more to see if they had any moth repellent stuff, they didn't. I was gonna to go to B&Q, but it just intimidates me, the size of it. I was like, eh, nah. So, I have come to the co-op. Let me show ya. Co-op is there. Bali CD Cafe is there. Co-op Bali CD. So, I'm gonna go into the co-op first, try get some what the moth stuff. And um, then go into Valley CD, see what it's like inside there. It might be kind of quiet, it might not be. Um, and either just get something maybe for a takeaway or sit down. Third time's the charm, eh? Couldn't, couldn't do it. No, I'm, I'm back. I'm home. Um, I just went to the shop to just get stuff for lunch, and I got myself a croissant. So there we go. That's my pastry that I'll have in the comfort of my own home. I think I just got too anxious. I was too in my head about everything. Um, yeah, just could not do it. But I am off again on Thursday. So we might try again Thursday. I'll have a bit more of a plan because I didn't really have a plan this morning. Well, no, do you know what? I kind of did, but it was just really busy. <laughs> But anyway, we're home. We'll try again another day. I've just been chilling out on my bed watching some TikToks, but I started getting a bit sleepy. Uh, so I sat up and I think I'm going to get out my summer clothes now, even though I'm in no mood to go trying anything on. But I am going on holidays in like three weeks, so I need to get it sorted because I'm not sure if things will fit me. Um, which is kind of like a, you know, <laughs> I haven't had the best relationship with food for probably like nine, ten months now. Um, so it's just a bit like, it just feels a bit shitty when, you know, clothes don't fit me, but I know exactly why they don't fit me, you know, like in a way. I mean, we're just going at it with the attitude that like most things aren't going to fit around my waist anymore. Um, you know, some of my jeans don't fit me. Um, I tried on a skirt the other day. It was too loose around the waist. Um, so yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's a bit frustrating. It's a bit triggering of a thing to try do, to try, try on all these old clothes. But look, if I don't do it now, like I'm literally going to run out of time when I need clothes to wear on my holidays. So let's just, let's just do this, let's go. So I sorted through all my summer clothes. I actually didn't have as much as I thought. And there was just mainly like a couple of shorts that don't really fit me anymore. Um, so they're kind of the only things I'm getting rid of. There's some then that like aren't like nicely fitted on me, but they'll do for like lounging around and stuff. So that'll be fine. Um, but then I fell asleep <laughs> for like, like a while, like an hour and a bit, I think. So I'm just a bit groggy, but I'm on the way to Pilates now and that's what's up for the next 45 minutes. <laughs> Just back in home from Pilates. It was great as per usual. I love it every single week but I forgot earlier <laughs> that I picked up moth killer strips. So I actually got these from Super Value so I'm gonna put one under my bed and one in my wardrobe. And hopefully, hopefully that'll get rid of any moths. 